What's going on, everybody? Josh Engelman for AwesomeMode.com, and I am back with my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, March 24th. And be sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, and hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter, at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments section who your favorite plays are, and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO to $25 on your first deposit. And we're rounding out the bottom of my top 10 with Will Barton, Pascal Siakam, CJ McCollum, Zach Levine, and DeMar DeRozan on the outside looking in. Who will be my favorites? My top five plays for today? Time to find out. First up at number five, I'm looking at Tyrese Halliburton. He's point guard, shooting guard, eligible 7,500, projected for 38. The goal is 53. He's in the optimal lineup 28% of the time. I gave him 36 minutes. He's in a pretty nice matchup. Like, they're obviously big dogs, 12-point underdogs to Memphis. But they gained 3.4 possessions over their average. And I have Halliburton in the number five spot with the assumption that Malcolm Brogdon is in. If he's out, Halliburton climbs even higher. 15 points, 8.5 assists, 5 boards, and 2.5 and stocks. The price looks good. The matchup from a pace perspective looks good. And there's only upside for Halliburton if we get more guys ruled out for the Pacers. Speaking of guys getting ruled out for the Pacers, Malcolm Brogdon is here at number four. He's point guard, shooting guard eligible, and just 7K. If he's able to play, I got him projected for 37 fantasy points. The goal is 50 at that price tag, and he's in the optimal lineup 30% of the time. Again, he gets the benefit of the Memphis matchup. No jaw, pace up. I think he plays 34 minutes if he's in because Malcolm Brogdon just plays a ton. He's either not able to play or plays the full run. It makes no sense. But he's close to a 1.1 fantasy point per minute guy in this spot. 25% usage, 19, 6, and 6 with a stock. If he's in, I want to have a lot of him. If he's out, I'm pushing up Halliburton aggressively. Completing my trio of Pacers, Buddy Heald is here at number three. Shooting guard, small forward eligible, 5,600. Projected for 32. The goal is 44, and he is in the optimal lineup 30% of the time. I gave Heald 36 minutes. He'll have a slight bump with no Brogdon. There's just going to be more usage to go around. But for now, 0.9 fantasy points per minute, 22% usage, 17 points, six boards, three and a half assists, and a stock and a half. And I don't have to mention it again, but I will. A really nice pace up spot against the Memphis Grizzlies with no Ja Morant. I love attacking the Indiana Pacers today, and they'll look even better, Heald and Halliburton, if we lose Brogdon. Next up at number two, I'm going to Fred Van Vliet. He's point guard eligible, 7,800, projected for 40. The goal is 54. He's in the optimal lineup 30% of the time. I gave Van Vliet the standard issue, 37 minutes. Could play upwards of 40. 25% usage, 20 points, almost seven assists, five boards, two stocks. Now this one is a pace down spot against Cleveland. They, they lose 2.6 possessions below their average but they're four point favorites. This one should be competitive throughout and competitive games generally mean massive minutes for the Toronto starters. That's why I'm looking very closely at Fred Van Vliet. Now, before we get to that number one contender, one last reminder, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you know when everything goes live. Follow me on Twitter at Josh Engelman. Let me know in the comments who your favorite plays are and then go sign up at No House Advantage using the promo code AWESOMO. And finally, your number one contender is very easy. It's Giannis Antetokounmpo. Small forward, power forward eligible, 11,400. Projected for 61 and a half. The goal is 71. And he is in the optimal lineup 41% of the time. I am 34 minutes. I tried to be mildly pessimistic at a 12-point line against the Wizards, but I can't because he's so good. 1.82 fantasy points per minute. That is a bonkers rate that you just don't really ever see. 35% usage, 32 real points, 12 and a half boards, seven assists, and two and a half stocks. His raw point ceiling is so far ahead of everybody else that all the value just pushes you to get to Giannis even more. I think he looks exceptional today. 11-4 is not a salary that I'm all that worried about. No matter what happens on this day, other than him getting ruled out, Giannis Antetokounmpo will be my number one contender. Alrighty, folks, that will do it. Those are my NBA DFS contenders on FanDuel for Thursday, March 24th. DraftKings version is around here somewhere, so check it out. Good luck tonight, everybody. Win some money. We are back again tomorrow morning for another edition of The Contenders.